Well, I have the pleasure this morning of interviewing a media icon in our country. We no longer hear Lloyd Robertson say that's the kind of day it's been, but he's still in the business as a chief correspondent for W5. His new feature, Unlocking Alex, debuts this Saturday, 7 p.m. here in Saskatchewan. It's a pleasure to be speaking with you, Lloyd. Nice to see you and to talk with you, Molly. Thank you. Now, Lloyd, this feature focuses on a seven-year-old girl. Tell me about Alex. Well, little Alex is the daughter of uh, Wendy and Peter uh, Garish in Montreal, and she is a seven-year-old, and they decided that conventional treatment for autism was not working for them, so they wanted to try something different. So we followed their story. We followed them to Curaçao in the Netherlands Antilles, uh, way down south, where it's nice and warm all the time, and uh, she um, worked with the therapist down there, and we also had to follow her on the plane, uh, and we did that because uh, the parents were worried about Alex having a meltdown on a plane. She'd never been on a plane before. This is a little girl who is bright. Uh, she's uh, able to read, she's able to write, but the parents um, really felt that Alec was not unlocking herself. Uh, for example, when they would try to get her to take a shower or put her in the bath, she would scream. She didn't want to go near water. When she was down there, she went in the water, she played with the dolphins, worked with the therapists, and the therapists there were all saying to me, uh, look, this is not a magical cure. We don't regard this as the perfect remedy. It isn't, but it's a form of treatment that helps these children come out of themselves when they're around dolphins. And you know, dolphins are supposed to have some kind of magic when it comes to interacting with human beings. But there's also a lot of controversy about this treatment. For one thing, it's very expensive. In the case of the Garishes, uh, they had their uh, trip paid for by Dolphin Aid Canada, which is a charity set up specifically for this purpose. But uh, also, the science is uh, the science on the whole subject is not considered to be as sound as it should be. And Lloyd, as much as this is about Alex, as you said, you were following the family, so it's a parent's journey as well. What was it like profiling people with such high hopes? Well, this is one thing that uh, I found out in the interview with them at the end of it all. Uh, Wendy was crying because uh, she really felt that uh, this had been beneficial. She didn't particularly want to go back to Montreal and face the day because her days are terrible. I mean, she, she says, you know, just getting this kid up, getting her dressed, getting her off to school is a major effort every single day. And the wonderful parent, Peter, I mean, he is he's a very supportive father. Uh, he's a policeman. Uh, he has another job, part-time job. Uh, they do a lot to get Alex into special schools, to get special treatment for her, uh, but it is an effort all the time. So what I think people watching the show will come away with is this family, anything to help them is it should be beneficial. Now Lloyd, I gotta ask one more question. You know, after all the years of yourself being behind the national news desk covering major Canadian events, uh, what is it like being out in the field, fully in the field once again? Well, it's wonderful, and I'll tell you, it's great to be working on a program like W5 because you're doing stories like this which really mean so much to individuals. I mean, this um, this particular therapy, even while it's controversial, is something people have talked about for a long time. I think uh, you can help people with uh, some of the stories I'm doing now. Uh, they're longer form. You know, the news hits were always one minute, 50 seconds to two minutes. Now I'm doing longer form, and I'm really enjoying it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lloyd, yeah. for joining us. We really enjoy having you on the program. Thank you, Molly. Good to talk with you.